Well, today there's only a few left on Bardstown Road. We're talking about those square lane lights swaying over the busy corridor. The city deactivated most of them back in 2020. It was a true quirky part about the highlands of Louisville for many decades. After their removal, the city auctioned them off several of them this year. Ian Hardwick now found one of the lights in its new home close to its old perch. Swinging overhead on a windy day, the last few lane lights on Bardstown Road guide the way while others sway dormant. As they fade from relevancy, a few collectors can still preserve the square relics since the city put some up for auction. The Kleins got theirs for around $400 and rigged it up in their own backyard. These to me are just iconic. Angie Klein remembers them from her middle school years when she was digging through record stores. Eric's to see Electric Ladyland, Twice Told. With her husband Jamie's wiring, bringing those memories back is as simple as flicking a switch. Revealing a color. The amber. Hidden. That's an exclusive. For years. And although they were a fixture in the Highlands for decades, Jamie shows me this light was shipped in 2007, old enough now to drive on the roads it hung over. The lane lights came down in 2022 as part of a Bardstown Road redesign, adding pedestrian signs like these and the curb that I'm standing on right now to narrow out these lanes and make it friendlier for foot traffic. Angie approves of those changes, but I wondered if she'd still feel the same about her back patio. What do you think you're going to think of this thing in 30, 40 years? <laughs> Depends on how many times we move. <laughs> I may come to hate it. Um, no, I think I will love it. I think wh wherever we move, it's going to find a spot. I think it'll be a great conversation piece. My daughter's going to get it, you know, once we're gone. I don't know how she'll, she'll feel about that, but <laughs> I, think, I, I think I'm always going to uh, enjoy it and be glad we purchased it. Now it's their own slice of their neighborhood's history to enjoy further on down the road. In the Highlands, Ian Hardwit, WHAS 11, on your side. <laughs> Love that. What a great idea and uh, what a tradition to have at your home. Now gone. And you can still buy one of those pieces of Highlands history for yourself. And the money goes right back into the neighborhood. If you're interested, the last round of auction goes until March 24th. We have a link for you on WHAS11.com. Right